It is Thursday, January 7th, and this is your English instruction for today. Our learning target reads, I can understand pathos, ethos, and logos, and how they relate to persuasion. So in class today, we took our lecture notes over the art of persuasion involving pathos, ethos, and logos with the note-taking guide as well. As you can see right now on the screen, I have the Google Classroom page pulled up from fourth hour. This is what you should have available to you. It's the slides as well as the note-taking guide. This will take probably three days for us to cover all three because we're going to talk about one specific component a day and do some activities revolving that so you can keep up with that. So today, we specifically talked about ethos because it's the first one that's listed on this note-taking guide. So the first thing you're going to do is watch a video that is on the slides. So if I go to the slides, the first thing here is specifically a little video. And this is a commercial that uses ethos in some way. I know we haven't talked about ethos yet, but that's the point. The trick is to have students watch the video and try to come up with a hypothesis on what they think ethos is just from the commercial. So I'm going to pause briefly so you can pause the video, the video you're watching right now, to go in and be able to watch the video that is posted on here. What you'll do is you'll watch it, and then after watching the initial video, what do you think ethos persuades through? So how are they persuading you in that video? So I'm going to pause briefly in my lecture, and then I'm going to continue. You can pause the video if you'd like, watch the video, make your hypothesis, and then add that into your note-taking guide. Okay, so the next part is actually talking about ethos itself. So on your note-taking guide, this would go into the ethos is an appeal to section, so this big box down here. Ethos is a Greek word for character. It is an appeal to credibility and authority. So if you're trying to appeal to authority, that means you're an authority figure. You're someone who can be trusted when you say something. With credibility, that means you're credible or you can be believable because you have some form of experience or facts that back up what you're saying. With ethos, we're trying to convince our audience that the speaker or writer is reliable or credible and or you can interchange those in this scenario. You're also trying to convince your audience that of the credibility of an argument, essentially. So you're trying to simply come and persuade your audience that the argument that you are making today is credible and these are the reasons why essentially because if you can get your audience to see you or your argument as credible and trustworthy it's much easier to persuade them we are much more likely to believe people we trust and can believe in than those that we don't know and that's where ethos comes into effect so some examples of ethos which is an appeal to ethics which is credibility and authority are the following. So these are the ones we talked about in class. The first one is, I have been married for 58 years, and I can tell you that he will not be a good husband to you. Now, in this example, do we have credibility or authority taking place here? Well, arguably both, and here's why. Being married for 58 years means that you've stayed with the same person for that entire time. That means you are an authority figure when it comes to marriage because you've been in a relationship, a marriage, for that long. It also shows that you're a credible individual because you've stuck with that marriage the whole time. So you're a credible individual to talk to when it comes to relationship advice since you have made a relationship work for so long. So it proves that you would be credible if you have been in a relationship for that many years. Another example is, Having written 10 successful novels myself, I can tell you that this book is worth buying. So how this is credible or authoritative, if I was an author and I've written 10 successful novels and I was giving you my opinion on another book, you'd be more likely to believe me if you knew my credentials or my credibility. Because having written so many books, you'd think that I would have it down to almost a science on how to make a successful book. So you know if I made a recommendation towards you, you'd be able to take that to the bank, essentially. If I had written no books and I was trying to, if I don't read books or I don't write books and I have nothing to do with books and I'm trying to sell you on why you need to buy this book, you may not listen to me because I don't, I may not know what I'm talking about because I don't have that extra knowledge or credibility about the topic. Then our final example is my friend who has a PhD in nutritional science says that we should eat fewer carbohydrates. In this scenario, 
The individual who has the PhD in nutritional science is our authority figure on the topic. They're incredibly credible because they've spent all that additional time to attain their PhD in nutritional science. And they're trying to give us tips about our eating habits because that's what falls under the umbrella of nutritional science. So with that being said, we know that they would be a credible individual to listen to. This is part of an activity we did. If you look on your note-taking guide, and I'll show you briefly, in the column down here, you have a list of statements or sentences. You are to determine whether or not they are, they are using ethos in the, in the sentence itself. Are they using ethos in some way to persuade someone? So if we look, at, and then in the far column, explain why or why not. So in the first one we have, you definitely get help with, you should definitely get help with your debt and I say that as someone with over 30 years experience of debt counseling. We as a class determined that yes, this is credible and using ethos because the speaker is referring to their extensive experience in this area in order to give credit to their opinion. So they are proving that they are credible by demonstrating that they have been a part of debt counseling for over 30 years. That means that'd be someone we'd be able to believe. So for this section, you'll go through each one of these and try to answer that. Instead of going through each and every single one of them, I'm gonna have you just select two of them and write them into your note-taking guide because we kind of discussed these in class and just by doing two on your own, that would catch you up. Okay, so this is the last section of the note-taking guide for ethos and this is the last part we're gonna cover today. So for the sell it to me ethos section, I have a list of objects or ideas on this list. What students in class did was they had to come up with a short, roughly 20 second commercial trying to persuade or sell us on the idea or the thing that the group was assigned to. It was super brief, but they had to find a way to use ethos to do it. So they'd have to try to find a way to appear credible or authoritative on the issue. What I'm going to have you do is you can write this in on your note-taking guide, but also comment this at the bottom of this um, lesson video so I know that you completed it. Choose one of the six items from this list and try to write a couple sentences, just about 20 seconds worth, that's about three sentences roughly, trying to sell me on this item. Be sure to use ethos, so to use some form of credibility or authority on the issue. So you'll comment that at the very bottom of this on Google Classroom. I'll be looking at those for your participation since you're an online learner. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm always here to help support you on this end. Otherwise, have a fantastic rest of your day.